Hello my friends and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday, my favorite time of the week. Today we're building a library in Newcrest, which I know I never build libraries, but like, does anyone frequently build libraries? I feel like this is probably not your, your expertise, right? I build a lot of houses, but not a lot of libraries. But today we're building one for Newcrest because I've been on a mission to build up all of Newcrest. As you know, Newcrest comes in the base game completely empty, and so I've been trying to make a lot of lots so that you all could download them and fill it up yourself and have like a place to start if you want to play in it. Because it is it's kind of daunting to like fill up all of Newcrest, especially because it's hard to find things that match. So I've been working on doing this. We have a museum right next door, like a science museum next door, and this one is the base game library. Now, I must preface this by saying she is a bit ugly, but it was on purpose. <laughs> she is a little bit ugly intentionally because look, I really struggle with building community lots because I feel like most of the things like this around me are really ugly. <laughs> and I feel like um, if you look at any building in real life from a bird's eye view, you're gonna see a big concrete box. And that's just the reality of life these days. I don't live anywhere near a nice library. I know like sometimes big cities have like really beautiful old libraries, but that does not exist around these parts. <laughs> so this one's a little bit more modern. It again is a big concrete box or more like a few different different concrete boxes. Um, this is one of those trust the process kind of builds. I swear it starts to look cooler as we get more into it. I feel like you might be thinking right now, whoa, Kayla, I might have to turn this video off, but hang on, just wait. It might get better. <laughs> I like this build. The inside's a bit weird, but it's okay. It's like a very family-friendly sort of library. There's a nice kids section. There's lots of computers. I've been sort of basing all of these lots off of like what I desire to have in my gameplay when I'm visiting libraries and, and museums and stuff with my Sims because I play a lot of like legacy type challenges. You know, when you have an empty lot and not really a house and certainly no computer. So you go to the Willow Creek, li Willow Creek. <laughs> so you go to the Willow Creek, not Willow Creek. <laughs> you go to the Willow Creek library to try Try and like write your book or, or get a job or whatever and then Mortimer Goth is hogging all the computers everyone keeps trying to talk to you while they're on your computer trying to write your book it's so annoying so I made sure I put a lot of computers in this space <laughs> there's lots of empty tables if you want to like have your sims do their homework here or something again there's lots of like kids skill building items I was just trying to cover all my bases because I wanted to have a good spot for you to bring your sims to and like actually use you know <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest I did cut some things out of this you may have noticed that suddenly there are trees that's because I spent a really long time trying to make like a fun sign <laughs> for the front of the building. So I realized that we really are lacking when it comes to like fun signs in the base game. We have that one that's really nice. There's like a, a fitness type one. It, it looks like a gym sign because there's like a guy running and it comes in like blue and orange, kind of like my lights in my shirt. <laughs> but that's like the only more reasonable sign that we have. And I used it next door. So I was kind of sad to have to reuse it. So I was like trying to put giant books like signs sized up in the front as a sign. I mean, I was trying all sorts of things. Besties, it just wasn't working. <laughs> so I had to cut it. I had to cut it out. It was embarrassing. I built this on stream, so I had some feedback and we were all not feeling it, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> so I just went with the sign I already used, but I, I figured that it was for the best, okay? Because it, it didn't look that weird. I also want to warn you that the color scheme in here is a little bit odd. I used some wood colors that you may disagree with. There is in fact some kind of ugly bookcases, but I was looking for a chance to use them. I never use the ones that I use, so I tried really hard to make it work. I just, again, I just want to warn you. But that's all. Otherwise, it's super cute. Like, the painting outside, like, the paint on the walls turned out way better than you might have thought, right? Right? Also, I want to tell you all about my shirt. <laughs> this is a Friends shirt. Um, I, I have not really watched Friends in years. Um, I, I would call myself a fan of Friends, I guess, in the same way that everyone is. You know, you've seen it and whatnot. But I got this shirt for Christmas from my mother, and it says, Friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the Friends logo. And this made me laugh a lot. Um, I appreciate my mom very much for buying this for me. I feel like she knows me very well. This is a really nice meme shirt you know? Um, I sometimes call it my propaganda shirt. I don't like to wear it in public because I'm embarrassed, but I, I thought I'd wear it today because I was just wearing it this morning and I, I didn't change to record. But I thought you might like it! You know, I love a good dumb shirt. 
<laughs> and I just, my mom is funny. So <laughs> thanks, Karen. Love you the most for this one. Anyway, the build. So <laughs> you'll see that there's sort of two big main areas in this building. It is kind of large, actually. There's a small upstairs, but a pretty big downstairs. The upstairs has become like the, the computer space. So you'll see there's a lot of bookshelves. There's a lot of tables with computers on them. And it's like the quiet area, I feel like. In my university's library, the higher floor you went up, the quieter it was meant to be. Now, most of the students sometimes did not respect this, but like the idea was that on floor four, you know, you should be dead silent. If you want to do a group project, maybe stay on floor one where you can talk, but higher up, shut up, you know? So I feel like that's kind of what I was imagining for this space. Like the quiet area would be up here. And then downstairs, there's like some more conference table type setups. Like if you wanted to do a group project, there's space for you down there. Um, again, this is The Sims. There are no group projects. <laughs> So I don't know why I bothered with that, but I feel like in real life you'd have that kind of thing. So I wanted to use it too. But there are computers upstairs, there's computers downstairs, there's chess tables. Like I, I wanted to have a lot of computers because I know that like Sims tend to hog them. So I did my best to make sure there was a lot because I, I know the pain of having base game Sims steal your stuff in the Willow Creek library. I swear you walk in, you click like, I don't know, write book and your Sim starts walking to it. And right before you get there, Mortimer Goth or like, I don't know, Katrina. <laughs> comes in and sits there in your spot and then you can't use it and then you have to reset them or if they're a random townie that isn't like one of the main ones and you're me you use MC command center to delete them so they get out of your place and I just you know you want to make sure you got extra so that's what I did here <laughs> but I really haven't built a library in a long time so it was kind of fun to like imagine this community lot granted I was using just the base game this is the hard part of this because usually base game builds are not hard to do we have so many things in the base game these days like you can make a really nice base game build the hard part is like knowing the other items that you have access to and wanting to use them, but not being able to, you know, like I, this maybe isn't for the library, but this maybe isn't for the library, but like if you're making a bar or some sort of pub, you're like, wow, it would be so fun to use that foosball table. Ah, oh, it's from get together <laughs> or like from get to work. There's this little library cart, like book item. And it, it's like a little tiny bookshelf on wheels. It's, it is a library cart. Like that would be perfect to put in here. It's from get to work. We can't use it. <laughs> and so I always feel so bad because I'm streaming this, right? And so people in my Twitch chat are like, oh my god, Kayla, the library cart item. And I'm like, oh, you're right, but I can't use it. And then five minutes later, somebody else comes in and they're like, oh my god, Kayla, the library cart item. And then I'm like, that would be so fun, but we can't use it. And I feel so bad, like consistently just shutting people down. But obviously the idea is to make this build base game so that everyone can download it. And I admit the library cart would be a fun one, but alas, we can't use it. It's okay. It doesn't look like a bad base game build though. I, I think it's it turned out really nice. Granted, the color scheme's a bit weird. We all know that. We signed up for that. You clicked on this video, you should have known what you were getting, <laughs> but I think it's okay. I think it's weird in like a realistic way. It's weird in like a, we built this in the 90s way, which I like. So <laughs> I, I feel like it fits the vibes I was going for. This is the kind of place I want to have my Sims visit. And I also had a lot of fun decorating the kids space. I've been putting like a kids room like this in pretty much every community lot I've been building, but I just like to have access to this kind of stuff. Like I put a Wabbit tablet. We got those like drawing tables and the science table. All the things that you don't always have in your house, but you might want for your kids. I put them in here. And it's kind of fun because you could like pretend that your Sims have like a club meeting and they're coming to meet other kids here. You could put that like child's play lot trait. I mean, you could just do stuff to meet other kids. And also if you have get together, you could like make a club <laughs> of your, I do this sometimes because I want my Sims to have friends and it's hard to meet other Sims. So I'll make a club of like only teens or only children. And then I have my like child Sims and their child friends like I call it scouts and I have them come to a place like this And I like pretend they're at a scout meeting. This is so lame But it's a good way to have your Sims make friends So it's fun to have access to stuff like this and you can like pretend they're doing their homework here And I, I don't know. I just I like libraries. I love the idea of libraries We support the idea of libraries and I'm living out my library fantasies in the Sims 4 with this build So <laughs> I think it turned out cute. I don't know. Okay. I did want to tell you all a story though So yesterday I was at Publix last night, you know as one does <laughs> buying my groceries after I got off stream. And as I was checking out, the man checking me out, out of nowhere, he's like, hey, did you see the Animal Crossing update? Which they had like a Nintendo Direct yesterday, this like 20 minute live stream where they talked about all the new Animal Crossing content coming. It was huge. Like they announced the first ever DLC for New Horizons and they announced this massive update to the game with like so much stuff. So obviously people are talking about it, but he was like, hey, did you see it? And I was like, yeah, I'm so excited. And he was like, I know I was just talking yesterday about wanting an Animal Crossing update and now here they are. It was a fun conversation. I loved it. Like I loved
stop talking about Animal Crossing. I'll sit here and talk about Animal Crossing all day, every day. But it really did pose the question, do I look like that much of an Animal Crossing player <laughs> that a random man at the grocery store would bring it up to me? Apparently, yes. I mean, there is the possibility that he knew who I was, but it didn't feel like that. Like, I've been recognized in public many a time. Not that many times, but like, you know, enough to, to know when, like, it seems like that's what's happening. I don't think he recognized me. Like, I don't think it was like a, hey, you're that YouTube girl who plays The Sims in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna ask you about it. It just, it felt like he was just asking about it because I looked like I played. Which, I mean, he was right. He was right. I, I do play a lot of Animal Crossing, but I just thought it was really funny. I also, I was so excited yesterday. I felt so silly because I was like giddy about Animal Crossing all day. I just kept wanting to talk about it all day. And now here I am talking about it again. I don't make Animal Crossing YouTube videos, but I do stream Animal Crossing pretty often. So if you want to drop by my Twitch channel, I do a lot of Sims building and a lot of Animal Crossing. So if you're into either of those things, I mean, you might like twitch.tv forward slash Lil Simsy. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but recently in Animal Crossing, I've been renovating Dan's Island. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, my roommate Dan <laughs> moved here from England a couple months ago. And so I've been like waiting to get my hands on his Switch so that I could decorate his island. Cause he played Animal Crossing like a bunch on his Switch Lite when the game first came out. And then he got an Animal Crossing Switch so that he could stream himself villager hunting, but he didn't really do as much decorating on this island. Like he, he kind of didn't touch it at all. He literally just villager hunted because he was trying to have all ducks on his island and like that's all he did. And so when I finally got my hands on it, I got to decorate his island. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you can relate to this, like the stealing of your partner Switch perhaps to play Animal Crossing. I mean, I, I think that many of us have been there from what I've heard in my Twitch chat, but I've been having a lot of fun doing that. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to finishing it and then playing with the new update stuff. I have so many options. Just, okay, I think you simmers can relate to this. Listen, so in Animal Crossing this whole time, we couldn't change the color of fences. So they only had one swatch, all the fences. Imagine that in The Sims 4. I know, isn't that horrible? <laughs> we only had one swatch for all the fences and there were no white fences, not a single white fence. We can finally change the color of fences in this update and we can farm, but that is... So I know Simmers, right? Like... <laughs> Fence colors, it's huge. I think we all understand the pain of not having a good white swatch for a fence, by the way. Um, I don't wanna bring up, you know like the, the base game, like normal fence, like the most standard looking base game fence, how it has that gate and the gate has like white, pillars with a blue gate, white pillars with a brown gate, and then brown pillars and a brown gate, and that's it. No, just plain white gate. There's a plain white fence, but no plain white gate that matches it. I have been waiting for this stupid white gate for like seven years, <laughs> and I will keep complaining about it, but you see what I mean though? I think that we all can relate to this problem. I think we all sing, okay? Do you know what? Do you ever say things that like are a a reference, not necessarily a niche reference, but like maybe a little bit of a niche reference. And you you think about like how weird that must sound to someone who doesn't know it. Like, why did Lil Simsy just say, I think we all sing? You could look it up. Or, well, actually, Dan, play it. One thing you don't know about Ariana Grande is that she literally sings everything. Like, yes. she's, she's starting to forget how to talk in her own voice because she sings everything. And it's a good thing because she's a beautiful voice, but it's awesome. She sings absolutely everything. She never stops. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot, too. Like, I, especially during the rehearsal. all sing. True. Yeah, I guess all. that's true. It's a meme. Victoria Justice. You, you get it. That's the fun part of having an editor, is you can say, hey, Dan, look this thing up and then play it. I'm gonna keep talking about it for a second to make sure that he actually remembers to put it in my video instead of forgetting because it'll be really embarrassing if I'm talking about this and I've acted like he put it in the video and I didn't realize that he didn't and then I posted it on YouTube. But Dan, in the video, before when I said that, yeah, thank you. Okay, I do have one last story for you though. And this one is, is quite funny in, <laughs> in a way that you might not expect. Okay, so I got a DM on Discord the other day while I was streaming from like this company that that sometimes like brings me sponsorship opportunities. And I saw it and they were like, hey, here's a sponsor offer for Dawn. And I, I saw it and I was like, what is Dawn? Is that like some weird game? I don't, I don't know. So I kind of like ignored it while I was live. And then, cause I didn't know what it was <laughs> and I was also streaming. So I like opened it, closed it, was gonna come back to it later. And then after I get off stream, I go to open it to read it and be like, what, what is this Dawn game? And I'm probably not gonna do it. Cause like, I don't, it doesn't sound like a game I would like if I don't know about it. I open it. No, it was Dawn, like Dawn dish soap. <laughs> The, the soap company? Dawn, the soap. Um, and I just, it made me laugh a lot because I like so immediately was like, no, 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 not that. I, what's Dawn? That's a weird game. And it was soap. Um, I'm not gonna do it because
because they wanted me to do it while I was doing a charity event on Twitch and I felt uncomfortable doing like a sponsored stream during my charity streams, but <laughs> maybe in the future, Dawn, I don't know, I'll do a soap video. I'm not opposed to that. I really am not. But I just, <laughs> it made me laugh a lot because I, I just wasn't expecting that. I feel like that's probably one of the last things you'd expect to see when you, you're, I don't know, I mean, soap. Soap for a Twitch stream. I'm into it though. Dawn branching out into the, the, the world of gaming, you know? Sure. <laughs> Makes, makes perfect sense. I'll do it. Like I said, love soap. Um, I, I don't currently use Dawn dish soap, but I, I would if if I was um, incentivized to. No, I'm just kidding. I actually use Method Dish Soap, um, who was in fact listed on that Dawn thing as a direct competitor. So sometimes they tell you, like when you sign deals with people like this, sometimes they'll be like, hey, if you're gonna do this sponsor, you have to do like a, a soap exclusivity for 60 days, 30 days. So like if I do a Dawn sponsor, I can't then turn around and do a, a Method sponsor the next week. Like I, I couldn't, that would be wrong because I just did a Dish Soap sponsor for Dawn. So I can't like turn around and be sponsored by their direct Competitor. It makes sense, but a lot of a lot of things do that. So <laughs> it's always kind of funny though, because like I I probably won't be getting sponsored by any other soap companies. I mean I might, but I I don't think so. I thought you'd like to hear about that. <laughs> well, that's the build done. Let's pop into the game and do a quick tour of the actual thing though. One of these days I'll have this saved for you to download. I just gotta finish it first. We're getting there. Look, most of my builds are done. Most. <laughs> Not all. I still need to do the bar, the gym, and then three more houses. I'm still not sure if I want all three of these to be houses or not. I haven't decided because it's base game only. Like I can't really put things like restaurants and I don't know, bowling alleys and stuff down, but maybe I will build three base game houses and then maybe I'll build like a restaurant that's only base game and dine out and put it there. And like a cafe that's only base game and get together and put it there. So that way if you wanna use it and you have the packs, you can. I'm not sure yet. I'll make options though. <laughs> We got time. But this is where the, the library is placed. It's called the Newcrest Archive. It's on this 40 by 30 lot down here. And I think it looks good next to the museum that we built. You can see them together here. I think it's nice. They do have the same sign. Don't worry about that. So on the outside, there's like some street lights. We've got a couple chess tables. It is a requirement, just to be clear. Although I do put chess tables in all of my builds. <laughs> I also found this super cool like newspaper thing from Debug and I thought that was so realistic. So I put that in there too. On the side of the lot, there's like a tiny little community garden. There's a bunch of things. There's like potatoes and tomatoes and roses and carrot, you know. <laughs> but there's like a little community garden down here. There's an easel if you want it. Um, there's like this back space. For some reason, my chat really did not like that I put a grill back here. They were like, why is there a grill at a library? And I was like, I don't know, because you might want to eat a snack. <laughs> So I just thought like, maybe it would be nice if you were sitting out here. You can like sit by the lake and, and grill up some food. Like that, that's not a bad thing, right? And there also is a grill over here and there's some playground equipment nearby. So if you want to bring your Sims here, it's like not a bad lot to like hang around, you know? But anyway, on the inside, when you first walk in, there's like a little reception area where you could return your books and get your library card and whatnot. <laughs> and then over here, there's like some seating and a bunch of bookshelves. There's also a couple more computers downstairs in case you need them. These are those conference tables I was talking about. And then there is a laptop. So like I said, I was piling up computers, but I was kind of pretending that like Sims were working here. So they had left books out and stuff. More seating, more bookshelves. There's two bathrooms. They're not huge, but they get the job done. There's little reading posters. <laughs> and then down this way, I snuck in a clown painting. I thought it was really nice. There's that kid room that I was talking about. This I thought was so fun. So I put some of these like kids drawings. These are the ones your Sims can make on these little drawing tables, but sized up and I put them up here on the wall. I just thought that was adorable. So I, I hung those up and then the kids have their own bathroom that is uh, different. <laughs> I will take any chance I get to use this horrible, horrible sailboat wallpaper, but I use it again and it works. There also is a toddler potty. So if you bring your toddlers here, you could potty train them and they can use that Wabbit tablet. So it kind of works out. And then upstairs is that like quiet area with the computers too. So all in all, this lot actually has nine computers, which in my opinion is plenty to not get stolen by Alexander Goth. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit weird from the outside, but I feel like this building is like a realistic looking weird, you know? Like it's kind of an odd shape, but in a way that you wouldn't be surprised if you saw it in real life, right? Like if you were at, at this height, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's a weird building, right? Maybe I'm just trying to justify it to myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> but seriously though, love you. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Let me know, should I build the bar or the gym next? I don't know how to build either of them and I've been putting it off. So I need a push.